gosh. Oh my gosh. So y'all know Teresa and I go through a whole lot of gulp shrimp. They're expensive. We're looking for a new alternative. Well, there's a new kid in town, Fight Club by Fish Bites. They're saying that they're tough, that they're super tough. I'll be the judge of that. I'm going to put one on a Fish Bites jig head. Look, I'm going to slide it on right here, and this is the only one I'm going to use, and I'm going to see how long it takes me to lose it. After just one cast, I noticed that these legs are grabbing too much wind. It's like casting a flying squirrel. <laughs> So they've got to come off. I've got to pull these legs off. Well, what I noticed right away is that I needed pliers to get them off. That's a good sign. Jesus. Not cool. Fight Club strikes. We've got a trout. Good trout. I got another one. So this is like my third fish. Oh, we inhaled it. They're all dinks, but this is my third fish on the Fight Club, and I haven't lost it yet. Now that's a good sign. That's a great sign. These dinks are a great test because they will take all your plastics and cost you a lot of money and make you mad. It's got a real neutral buoyancy, so I'm able to keep it up high with this 16th ounce jig head. With their jig head, you ain't getting it off of there. You are not, they're going to have to bite it. They're going to have to eat it. Um, it's got spikes. Works amazing. Six. Yeah, man, it's like six. So I'm six fish in on the Fish Bites Fight Club on the gray color shrimp. And I've got their 16th ounce jig head. This jig head has spikes that stick out. And once it goes over those spikes, it ain't coming off. Look, I'm six fish in. This, this is something unusual for me. Usually at six fish, I've been through at least a couple, if not three, soft plastics. I'm already saving money. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, that's seven. The most dinker do you ever seen, but still. Big enough to tear up my lures and make me cuss because I haven't been able to get to the big fish. Look, seven fish in. That's seven. It might be eight. He's coming right at me. That's a better fish. That's eight. I just dumped my phone. I just dumped my phone. Eight and still in good shape. All right, here's another. So that's nine. That's nine. This is another little red. That's nine. Still in great shape. <laughs> With one cinnamon bait, it's starting to wear down now, but I still think I got a couple more fish out of it. I can also bite this tail off and go backwards and make a wind beater, which I used to do at Gulp. So, I don't know, she's still got a few more maybe. It's still on there pretty good. That's like 14, three of them in wind beater mode. All right, the positives with this Fight Club lure is it was tough as nails. You could not tear it apart. I was able to catch at least 10 or 11 fish before I turned it around, went in wind beat them on, caught five more. The only thing I would modify is the legs sticking out. They really grab a lot of wind, but once you pull them off, you have a shrimp bullet that's tough as nails. All right, so I'm now back at the house, guys. This is what we were left with, my little weight forward wind beater. Probably 11 or 12 normal, and then probably five more fish caught in this wind beater mode. You can tell the collar's starting to come off a little bit. This is with tons of needlefish and pinfish just whacking it constantly as well, so. Let's see what it takes to actually get it off. Now. <laughs> Still got some life in it. Fish bites, bite club, fought to the death. I'd say probably 15, 16 fish out of this one. That's the only one I used all morning. Don't forget to like and subscribe.